Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you one of my favorite new features in DaVinci Resolve 17 and it's the new green screen capabilities that they built into the edit page. Now dealing with green screen footage or chroma keying isn't new to DaVinci Resolve. In fact, pretty much every editing suite software out there can do it, but they've implemented it in a new and awesome easy way to use in DaVinci Resolve 17. So I really want to show you how it works. So let's, you know, let's go take a look. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. We've got, I'm gonna bring my green screen footage and I'm gonna put it onto the second video layer here. As you can see, nothing super special here, just this footage of this girl doing something weird. On pexels.com, great source of free video content for you to use. And I'm gonna put my backdrop underneath, okay? Now, normally if we were editing green screen footage, we would wanna either bring it into the color tab or in this case, probably Fusion to do some proper compositing. But in DaVinci Resolve 17, they've added those features into the edit page and they actually work really, really well. So I would still probably use the Fusion tab for more advanced effects, but for a lot of things, you can get away with it, the edit page. So what we're gonna do is go to the effects tab and we're gonna go to our open effects tab. I'm gonna go down to where it has our Resolve Effects key and we're gonna click and drag our 3D keyer onto our green screen footage here. Now, if we gone over to our top right in the inspector, and we have, you can see we have this new beautiful effects tab. We now have our open effects 3D keyer here. Thing to note, if you want to see this in your viewer, you need to come down to the bottom left here and hit that drop down arrow and go open effects overlay. This way we can actually see what is going on. Now, this is actually gonna work exactly the same as the key would in Fusion. You're gonna use your picker to pick the main color. So you're just gonna draw a line. It's going to pick that first color there. So what I'm actually gonna do so we can see the green a little bit better is I'm gonna just disable this layer and now we can see the green. So with this video layer, what we're gonna do now is with the effects, we've used this picker to pick the original green. So now we're gonna use this add button here to add extra bits. So we're just gonna click and drag lines around where we want it to be and it's looking pretty good already. Now we can zoom right in if we want to get this little bit around the hairline or we can actually click this little despill option and watch the magic happen. Look at that, that is absolutely incredible how well that is working. And if we play this back, you can see that we are actually getting a really, really clean key on that in the edit page and it's playing back really smoothly, like crazy smooth how well this is working in the edit tab. And now if I was to grab our little street image here and press D to unhide it, and we can just zoom that in a little bit. Now we have our person on the backdrop. You can see maybe we still got a little bit, a little bit of funky something, something going on the edge, but like it is a really, like especially if we have a look here down at the hair, like we're getting really pretty good separation there around that there. And we can always improve the key if we want to. But I think this is gonna be really good for people that want to be able to, maybe they're Twitch streamers or something like that, or they just wanna do short little videos and do little overlays. This is gonna be really, really useful. And you know, we can make this look a little bit better. We can just quickly chuck a bit of a lens blur on that backdrop there. And it's playing back really smooth. Like I mean, it's hiccuping a little bit, but it's generally pretty good. So like, there you go guys, it's super easy. Like it was easy before, but they've made it even easier. They've also increased the performance. So it runs really smooth. Like what's not to like? As I said in the like little tutorial there, like with main green screen compositing, you will probably want to use Fusion. You have a little bit more control in that node-based environment. But for simple things, easy, quick compositing, if you want to put like explosion overlays, if you're doing like a mini action flick, stuff like that, this is going to be really, really useful for you guys when you upgrade to DaVinci Resolve 17. So there you go guys, that's one of my favorite features. Expect more videos on DaVinci Resolve 17 to come in the future. And until they do come, I'll see you later.